Okay, this is part two of double bonded functional groups. This is my favorite functional group. It's called an ester. And the reason I like this one is I like food. And if you eat any processed food, which is a lot of your food is processed, it has flavorings in it called esters. There are um, industrial plants all over the world that make these esters and they are in more foods than you think. If we do get back in the classroom, we'll spend a period making some esters. So we'll make some of these artificial flavors. Uh, the ending on an ester is called an O8 and it is a, a suffix. The way you recognize it is, it's a C double bonded to an O and a C single bonded to an O. So the first thing I do when I see an ester is I put um, a box around the section that's the C double bonded to an O because they can write these forwards or backwards or forwards. So you have to make sure you know what you're looking at. I then circle the carbon chain like this. Okay, so your longest chain is an O8. So it's three, which is prop, propanoate, and this is an ethyl. There's no numbers here. It's ethyl propanoate and you do leave a space. <clears throat> Once again, find the part of the chain that's got the C double bonded to an O and name it. That's got four carbons. That's a butanoate. There's a single carbon there. That's a methyl group. And we do leave a space right there. Um, even though this is a really short video, I would suggest that you watch this a couple of times, go through this and make sure you have this pattern down. I'm going to go up one step a little bit higher here, see what we can figure out. Find your longest chain. Remember, draw a box around that C double bonded O and circle the C's that don't have the C double bonded O on it. This is a propanoate. Now on the propanoate, if you number the C double bonded to the O is one, two, three. There's a bromo on the second carbon. So it's two bromo propanoate, no space there. It all blurs together. And then there's an ethyl. So this group here always goes out front. I will never put um, groups on here. I will only put them on that main chain. So whatever group is on that main, main chain, you just attach it to the propanoate. Now, this is a little bit of a side light here. Just as an explanation, you don't have to focus on this right now. You just have to know how to name and draw these things. Um, the way we make these in the lab is we take an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. And they do something called a dehydration synthesis. So two hydrogens and an oxygen are removed. So a water comes out. So dehydrate to take away a water. It doesn't matter which two hydrogens and which oxygen. It can be that one or that one. And what that does is it forms the ester. So that the O8 section of the ester comes from a carboxylic acid and the ill or radical part, the ethyl, comes from the alcohol. Folks, make sure that you go through the two videos a couple of times today. Make sure that you're condensing your notes and um, try those worksheets today. Tomorrow morning, we'll have a little bit of fun just playing with some online games and things and seeing what it is you know and don't know. So I'll assign some um, games for you to get into. You can test yourself. You can have your sheets in front of you as you're going through the tests. Um, anyways, good luck with this today.